Another hot and hazy day across southern Wisconsin. You can see behind me some of that haze on our tower cam. It's upper 80s in temperatures and our dew points are in the 50s, so it doesn't feel miserable outside. Again, as we get closer to July, that phrase comes to mind. The corn should be knee high by the 4th of July, and if it was, we would have a lot more humidity in the air, but we continue to skip out on the humidity, which in turn plays uh, a factor into why we haven't really been seeing any rain for the last couple of months, but it's hot. It's not humid. The winds are light and that's when we find another air quality warning out there until 11 o'clock on Friday. It's a combination of the smoke and with these hot temperatures and light winds, poor ozone as well. On the edge of what seems to be another high pressure system bubble, we've got showers and thunderstorms, even some severe weather off towards Denver and off towards our south Southeast cloud cover and rain as well. We're kind of sitting right in the middle of that area where there's just no rain and that's where we find some of that porous air as well. We got moderate air across all of Wisconsin and you can see elsewhere where the yellow is. Not necessarily the worst air quality that we could see or have seen, but it might not be great for everybody. So let's limit maybe our time outdoors if we're sensitive to some of that poor air, not only tonight, but tomorrow as well. Turning to temperatures, low to mid 80s to low to mid 90s. So everybody's kind of the same, relatively speaking. Winds are off of Lake Michigan, bringing again some of that more maybe refreshing kind of uh, breeze every now and then. But generally speaking, we're quiet and we're going to stay quiet as we go overnight and kick off your weekend. That Friday morning commute will be quiet across all of southern Wisconsin. As we look ahead into the late afternoon, once again, make some plans to be outdoors. If you can stay in the heat, and some of that haze. It's going to be a nice start to the weekend. Saturday will start off mostly clear. Clouds are going to increase throughout the day and it is going to be hot on Saturday as our next low moves on in and as it moves on out, we're going to watch as rain moves through as well. We're really going to want more of those yellows and greens overhead, but at this point with two months in a row in the Madison area, not accumulating an inch of rain throughout the whole month, We'll take a quarter, we'll take a half, we'll take more than that. Whatever rain we can get at this point we need as drought conditions continue to worsen across the state. And until the cloud cover moves on in, our UV index is going to be on the higher side both Friday and Saturday as well. We'll switch gears here quickly because uh, it's kind of rare that this early into the hurricane season, we've got not one, but two areas that we're watching. These quickly uh, developed in some very warm air marked by the uh, warm waters marked by those darker reds off of Africa. And at least one of them looks to be headed towards the United States. Brett, I believe, is going to stay well off to our south. We'll see how they impact our weather here and kind of influence the jet stream later on. Back at home, 50s and 60s tonight. The driest May and June's consecutively we're at number one with only an inch and eight an inch and eight tenths of an inch accumulated for both months back in 1992 was our second driest May and June consecutively. We need the rain and it looks like Saturday night into Sunday is our best chance, but we will keep isolated chances there Tuesday and Wednesday and really Thursday of next week when we cool down a little bit as well. I've really been mm. noticing the dead grass. <coughs> oh yeah, it's, it's like bad. really apparent. Yeah, now. yeah. It's, uh, my plants are crying. Aww. I'm crying just to put some, <laughs> to put yeah, some moisture the out there. <laughs> I know it's sad. So let's conserve the water yeah. Yeah, and stay hydrated. Yeah. yeah, quit being sad. Keeping our fingers crossed. Thanks, Blake.